Friends, LASIK surgery is one of the most innovative things that human mankind can come up with in life. From centuries together, people who have had numbers, surgeons, doctors across the world, from the times of Sushrusha, have been meaning to find ways by which we can reduce the numbers. That means the spectacle power, the refractory error of any human being. However, multiple techniques were tried from various drops to various kinds of surgeries. Somewhere in the 1970s, late and 1980s, early, a man called Fedorov from Russia started very, with a very beautiful technique called radial keratotomy. It evolved to a very great extent and that laid the basic foundation of LASIK surgery laser. The LASIK surgery full meaning is laser assisted in situ keratomeliosis and the full form of laser is as you know light amplification and stimulated emission of radiation. It was during the world war that Star Wars of Reagan, President Ronald Reagan who started the Star Wars and the concept of laser. That laser evolved in various forms. In the department of ophthalmology or eye, you have an argon laser, you have a YAG laser, you have an excimer laser, you have a diode laser, you have a frequency double YAG laser. But the LASIK laser is the excimer laser or the excited dimer. It's an argon fluoride gas and with a very beautiful mechanism, it is supposed to concentrate and reshape your cornea. The evolution of refractive surgery came, earlier came was PRK, photorefractive keratectomy. Epilasic, LASIK and LASIK. These are ways by which there was surface ablation and LASIK means making a flap of 100 microns on the cornea and resurfacing the cornea and making it like your lens so that the rays of light which are not falling on the retina fall on the retina. There is no foreign body introduction. It is your own tissues in the human body which are used to resurface, remodel and make you see better. It's an extremely safe surgery. It is more safe than flying from here to the US or Malaysia. It is more safer than driving in the streets of Mumbai or the autobahns of Germany. That's how safe surgery has been. There's a lot of skepticism by people that what will happen in the future. LASIK has stood the test of time. We are almost now 22 years since laser started. That is LASIK laser started. Quite a few million people in this world have got laser done in their eyes. And to a pleasant surprise, we haven't had an exodus of blind people in this world. That proves that the technique is very good and it is here to stay. People have learned from their past mistakes what things to be taken care of. So the machines have evolved and it's a wonderful piece of mechanism and engineering wherein there is precise delivery of laser within a very short period of time. What I mean by short period means if you have five diopters of myopia this will take only 10 seconds which about 10 years back would have taken 90 seconds. So you can imagine how fast, how smooth and how effective it is. All these machines have an inherent check-in system where it can never go wrong when the laser starts firing. So the idea that anybody can lose their eyes while doing the surgery is out of question. One cannot lose their eyes when the surgery is going on. So it's a very well made surgery. About an hour prior to doing any laser, the laser machine is charged up. You do the fluence test. You do the centering test. So the pre-op workup is tremendous. Now any person who wishes to do LASIK surgery first has to undergo a few tests to find out their refractive power and they have to do topography and pachymetry to understand whether or not they are good candidates. 
once they are given a green signal that they are good candidates for laser surgery, they can go ahead and get it done. The time in the clinic would be less than one hour, about 20 minutes in the laser room, and as I said, anything between 10 to 20 seconds under the laser. One can join back work within a couple of days. One can start watching TV and working on their computer from the next day. So it doesn't hinder in any which way your regular activities. A lot of people have this question that will my number come back later? Which is why we do not operate patients under the age of 18. Till the age of 18, 19, your numbers can change, but after that they do not change. And that's why once laser is done, that particular number will never ever come back. However, with age, when you get reading glasses at 40, 45, you may get those, which is normal with everyone. And that you will realize that while playing golf, cricket, while watching television, while driving, while text messaging, you don't need to wear glasses and or contact lenses. And the quality of vision, as I have shared with quite a few of my interviews of patients who have got it done, and they all have unanimously said that I wish I had done it earlier and that my vision is even much better than glasses or contact lenses. All in all, it definitely is worthwhile there is no other technique or drops or medicine which can work the same way. This is USFDA approved and it changes not just the glasses number but your quality of life.